testing one, two, testing one, two. Let me know if you can hear and see everything. I'll be right back.
Hello, everyone, and welcome. At the sound of the trumpets, you know that means it's time to begin. It is now 4.30 Eastern Time. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the StockSwish.com. Please welcome Melissa Alcamo. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Online Trader Central. And welcome. My name is Melissa Armo. Let me know if everybody can hear me today. Let me know also that you can see the slide here and the PowerPoint. Everything look good? Wonderful. Welcome, my name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And today I'm going to talk about making a million with Melissa. And who's Melissa? That's me. And we're going to talk really about how to trade in the market and how if you learn how to trade successfully in the market, you can make a million dollars over the course of your life. How much you risk depends how fast you make it. You need to trade a strategy that has the ability to be able to make this type of substantial money in the market. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswoosh.com. And feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com as well if you'd like more information. You can also go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Skype, and follow me at any one of those places. So would you like a career where it's possible that you can make a million dollars? Because you know in many, many careers it's not even something that is possible. But in reference to trading, if you trade the market, whether you day trade or swing trade or core trade, because of the amount of money that flows through the market on a daily basis, even in seconds, it is possible that you can make a million dollars trading. And also maybe a lot of you out there I know are from different countries that come to the Online Trader Central webinars. If you're someone that lives in a different country other than the U.S., the fact is you can train the U.S. markets. So you might have thought about it before, not knowing anything about it or whether or not it's possible to do it, but the fact is you can trade in the U.S. even if you do not live in the U.S. And maybe you are trading right now and you don't have a strategy. A lot of times I talk to people who are interested in learning more about what I do and the method that I trade and I find out that they don't have a strategy at all. It is extremely important if you want to be successful to have a strategy. And maybe you're training right now and you do have a strategy but you just don't make enough profits. And instead you feel constantly like every day you're wanting and needing more. More money, more trades, and what does this lead to then? It leads to over trading. One of the things that I do extremely well is manage my risk, okay, and with the number of trades that I take per day. Typically, I only take one trade a day. I'm a day trader. But even if I did overnights or long-term trades as well, plus the day trading, I still would be extremely picky with what I chose to do. Over trading, because you feel like you need to make more, does not end up resulting in more profits. And maybe you just plain flat out wish you made more money. <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of people actually, no matter what you're doing for a career, are always wishing, I wish I made more, I wish I made more. I remember when I was doing mortgages, like I was working constantly, lots and lots of hours, because I always wanted to make more money. And the more that I worked, the more that I made. Trading is not like that, though. It has to do with quality, the quality of what you're doing if you want to make more. And do you wish you knew how to make money consistently in the markets? If you're here today because you do make money in the market, know how to do it, but you're not consistent, the only way to really be able to reach this type of income level where you could pull a million dollars out of the market is to be consistent with what you do. Because many people that trade will never be able to accomplish this goal, even despite the amount of money that runs through the market daily. And also, you may have a situation where you want to provide and simply make more money for your family. And this is a wonderful thing, okay? So lots of times people want to make more money just because they want to be rich, but sometimes people need more money to take better care of their loved ones. And you also might be at a certain age in your life where you're not doing as well as you feel you should be financially and thus feel frustrated. You know, I think this varies when I talk to people at different ages, but I find in general, and I'm generalizing here when I talk to people, I find that people anywhere between the ages of, you know, 45 and 60 that I talk to that are trading the market, that have been in the market, lost money in the market, or done classes, feel frustrated that they're not farther along enough financially in their life, 
uh, not quite at the point of retirement, but feel like they're behind the eight ball with where they would want to be, knowing retirement could be in 10, 15 years. And so then people get involved in the market and want to learn how to do this thing and trade. But again, you have to know what you're doing if you want to make money. And maybe you've been trying to trade the markets yourself on your own, but falling short of your goal. It's time for you to make a change. This is all the reason why a lot of people come to my webinars, because sometimes you gotta just take a step back and make a change. And the time to change is now. Could you wait? Yes. Could you change tomorrow, next week, next month, wait till 2016? Yes. But the long and short of it is, if you wanna learn what I do, the best time to do it is now, why? Because I'm constantly changing and evolving and moving forward in my own life. So I'm not the same place now as I was with my business and my trading as I was a year ago or even six months ago or even a month ago, to be honest with you. I've never traded better this year in 2015. My business is growing at a rapid fire pace. So if you are, want to learn what I have to do, pay attention to what I have to say today. Listen to the things that I'm discussing I'm gonna teach you today. And you can email me after the webinar if you want more information, if we don't have time for me to answer everyone's questions when we're done. It's really about unlocking the keys to your own success. And me, I'm the vehicle for you to do it because I'm teaching people the strategy that I train and I also call the live trades that I do every day in the room and the market. And the market had a very interesting day today. And we were gonna talk about that in the webinar and I don't think we're even gonna have time. Uh, I will have to do a video on that and put it on YouTube probably tonight or tomorrow. So who is Melissa? That's me. It's just a regular picture of me in my apartment I'm a woman that started trading at the end of 2008, and when I started trading, I knew that I was very intelligent, and I thought I could figure it out very quickly. Well, as it turns out, trading the market is something that it doesn't matter how intelligent you are. You actually do have to be extremely focused on what you're doing. And because it was a risk taker, I risked and lost a lot of money very quickly in the market. And then I realized, though, that this was something that I loved and I wanted to do, and I set myself on the right course then in determining really how I was going to go about this to make the kind of money that I knew that I could make in the market uh, without falling off a cliff financially to do it. So I kept my job doing mortgages for a period until I was profitable as a trader, and that is good advice, I think, to anyone. Keep your job until you're making the money that you want to, and you need a plan of action to get to that point. So I taught myself a strategy and created my own method that I now trade and teach people. And the strategy is GAPS. I made the name up Golden Gap for my strategy, but it's really GAPS. It's really GAPS and I have a way to find specific GAPS that I call quality GAPS, which as I stated earlier, is how you're gonna find the consistency and this type of money in the market. So it's about unlocking the keys to your personal profit potential in the market. Learn how to trade one high income paying strategy, which is what it is gaps. Gap trading is where the real money is. It's where all the momentum comes in and takes hold of the market. Look at what happened in the market today. The SPY and the QQQs gapped down today. That was a huge momentum move that happened in the overall market, okay? And so trading gaps really makes it possible not only to trade for a living, but even make millions of dollars if that is your goal. And when I started out trading and I wanted to do it, I did not want to do this just for a little bit of money. I always wanted to make millions of dollars. I wanted to before I learned how to trade or even knew about the market itself. I wanted to make millions doing mortgages. So I always wanted to make a lot of money, okay? Now, again, how are you going to get there? It's one strategy. One strategy, you pay yourself on a regular basis, something you can replicate over and over, which is, by the way, how you get good. And that's how you become profitable. Doing thing after thing after thing never gets you where you want to go, never gets you the money that you want to make, and you can never take a size to make the real money that you want to make doing it then, okay? So I train really professional gaps, and I have a method to pick the right one each day, which I'll explain in a minute. But a professional gap is really a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. So in the course of a gap down, it's a gap that moves lower. In the course of a gap up, it's a gap that moves higher. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. In the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher in the trading day. And in the case of a bearish gap, professionals are shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. Very simple. Now, does that mean you can short every down gap? No. Does it mean you can buy every up gap? No. 
So I realized very quickly that I had to figure out which gaps I was going to do because there are so many. Even looking to play the gap in the direction of the gap, there's so many. And a great example today is the market because the market gapped down today. And if you shorted the market, it was the wrong thing to do and you didn't make any money. So how do you know which gaps to play and which ones to play in the right direction? Well, I created my own gap rating system. Okay. My system is like finding gold to me in the market when I find it. And I named it Golden Gaps for that purpose. They are gaps that have a high odds of working on the day in the correct direction of the gap with a large momentum move. Okay. And finding something that you can do and learning something that you can do, which you'd be learning this from me if you come to learn from me, is like finding gold, even to find me. Even though you would be paying me a fee to take my class and learn from me, it's still like finding gold to find someone like me because someone like me, a person like me, is a rare find on this planet. There are very few people that have successful trading systems that exist. I'm sorry to tell you, but that is the truth. And if you have been going to webinars or trying to trade or taking umpteen classes, you know that that's a fact. It doesn't mean, though, that you can't be successful in the market. You can. It's not something beyond the realm of conception, just like the idea of making a million dollars in the market is not either. In fact, as last week in the room, I was talking about this, and I was realizing that really... You know, the idea of making a half a million dollars a year is like right there. I mean, it's like right there. Because if you put it together, if you can make three grand three times a week and just basically not really lose, it's that's a half a million dollars a year. And if you can do that for six months or 12 months, you're making a million dollars by the second year. And this is what I'm talking about in reference to teaching people how to trade. So anything that can put the odds in your favor you're going to be able to use to make money. And that's where you're going to get the edge to do it. My 26-point rating system gives me an edge. And if you learn it, it will give you an edge because it pinpoints the right stock to trade each day or the ETF or to not do it, okay? Which I knew not to short the market this morning. So that's another way to use the system. It tells you what not to do. So therefore, you don't lose. Because, again, if you want to make a certain amount of money in the market, a half a million dollars a year or a million dollars a year, you can't have that many losing days because it takes away from the profitable days, okay? And it may seem like 26 points is an enormous amount of detail, but quite frankly, if I had 56 points, I would sit and get up in the morning and look at them and do it. Why? Because then I would never get it wrong, probably. It's about the level of information, the right knowledge, this is not a get rich quick kind of thing. I get up in the morning and I prepare to trade and I give myself one hour prep time before the open. If it takes you one hour to prep so that you can get it right every single day, big whoop. It means you're making money, okay? Now, it takes about five to 10 minutes if you're new to rate a gap. For me, it's less than five minutes, but you know what? I don't rush it. I took my time today. I said, you know what? I'm going to double, triple check this. I'm reading the market gap today. I just want to see what the, if this is really good gap in the market today. I just really want to know if we should be shorting this thing and all over it. And I rated it and it wasn't good enough. And we didn't, we didn't do it. But the reality is the time that you take to be specific is what gives you the edge. It's not about rushing it. Okay. Now, who makes large gaps or any gaps? Small gaps, big gaps, gaps that go with momentum and move and play out with drops of a dollar or rallies of two, three dollars. The momentum, the money that makes the stocks move, institutional money. That's what really makes these gaps. So the professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way to help you find which stock to trade. And not only that, the direction to trade it. And then this gives you the confirmation that large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate the gap and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency. We got to do it right now. Thus an action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap training is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful way to trade because you're on the side of power money. And if you are on the side of power money, you have a chance, a chance 
to make a million dollars in the market. If you are not on the side of institutions and what they're doing in stocks in the market, you have no chance. Not only no chance to make a million dollars, but no chance to make money at all. In fact, you'll lose. And that's what most people do. So it's, it's almost like one spectrum to the other. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. And that's what's so amazing about this and why I love, 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 love trading. I mean, I was in love with that market gap this morning when I saw it because I'm thinking to myself, this is so unexpected. But that's what I love about the market. And that's why if you are good, okay, you can make so much money. You can make bucketfuls of money. But if you're not good, you're going to lose. So you have two choices. Get really, really good or stink. But either way, you can't be even like medium and make it. That's the amazing thing about the market. You have to be really good. Because if you're not really, 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 really good, you're going to lose. Okay? So your goal is to get really, really, really good. You have to learn how to trade gaps before you can train them. And you have to learn what to look for in the charts in order to achieve the income results that you would want at all. Okay? Because trading is really for income. This is really something you're doing. You chunk it out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you total it up, and that's how you get there. So you've got to be able to see the goal in front of you. You actually have to see the goal right now. Like I was actually talking about this, like I said, in the training room last week, and I'm like, you know what? This is really like I am right there, like about the income of making $3,000 three days a week to get to the point of making half a million dollars a year and, and, and then to get to the point to make a million. So the reality is it's like right there. It's, this is, you have to be able to see it. Like you have to be able to just see it. Like it's right there. Okay. If you don't believe that you can do it, that you can make the money. If you don't even believe you're going to make many, any money at all in the market, then you're going to fail. And I'll just tell you that right now. You may as well pack it in. Okay. So you have to believe that you can be successful. You have to believe that you can make the money that you want. And you have to know what that amount of money is. Okay. But if you break it down per day and the consistency and seeing the, tr the gaps in the market, you can do it. Because the market has billions of dollars. I mean, it's just billions and millions of dollars in it. Billions! Okay? It's real. I mean, we saw it live today with what the market did. Amazing. And, like, I can't even make it up if I tried. All the money that's in the market, I, it's, it's, you, you can't even comprehend it. But it is billions. Okay? So the key for one individual like you is to produce income generation over and over. Okay? That is how you get to the point. That's how you get to the point where you're making a million in the market. You have to constantly, constantly be producing money. It's income generation, and it really adds up. It adds up over the course of days and weeks and months you're doing it. And before you know, you're trading for a year, two years, and before you know, you're there. And this is really what has happened to me. And it's just the idea of having the experience and the knowledge to do it so that you can do the replication. Because if you can't replicate something, you're never going to achieve your goals and you'll never see longevity in it, okay? And if you're really, if you're paying for a class or you're investing in paying commissions to a broker and platform fees or whatever the costs are with your broker, you, you want to see the investment pay off, and that's why you have to make money. So how can it add up? By doing it and chunking it out. Many traders are so short-sighted with their goals, and they also lack commitment. If you want to make a million dollars, you need to be committed to doing so. Are you committed or not? I have absolutely no idea. Okay. If you want to make any money in the market, you need to be committed to doing so. I mean, you absolutely have to be committed. Okay. So why are so many people, you know, lacking this commitment? Why? I mean, I think that one of the reasons is because of the fact that everyone is so short sighted. Okay. People just want to make the money like right now and not even think about what they're doing. But if it was that easy, then everyone would make money trading. You have to get to the point where you're actually thinking about what you're doing, okay? And therefore, learning it as you go along. Does anyone have any questions while we're at this point? Anyone have any questions? So let's go over this. What if you made $750 a day trading between now and the end of 2015? I'm being just realistic $750 a day it would total $71,250 and this is give or take holidays okay does this make sense it's again about chunking it out you will never get to the million dollar goal unless you know how to trade and how do you learn how to trade by learning from a trader that knows how to trade which is me and has a system that teaches you the knowledge to do it 
because without the right knowledge, you cannot be consistent. So let's go back again to what I was saying earlier. Believing that you can do it, believing you can make money, and then sticking with the consistency, okay? Because you will need the consistency not just to make a million dollars, but to make any money at all in the market. I think the lesson to be learned here at the lecture today is, for, for the focus and the commitment for everyone that's here, but it's the idea that it is 100% possible, and therefore you should believe that you can be successful if you get to the point where you are focused on the right knowledge to be consistent to make it. I find what a lot of people do is they have these lost days that turn into these massive lost days or rolling lost days, okay, where they're losing two, three, four, five, six days in a row or something. And then it just pulls all their profits from the good days away. And you can't have that. And that's really actually not only dangerous for your account, it's also dangerous for the fact that it hurts your confidence level and you need your confidence when you're going to trade. So where do you see yourself in one year, in five years in the market? Where do you see yourself? What are your goals? I think this is important to figure this out. If you believe that you want to be at the point within five years from now that you're making a million dollars trading, could be a combination of swing four and day trading, could be just day trading, 10 years, whatever. Give yourself a goal that you feel is realistic that you will believe in for yourself. And then you're going to say, well, how am I going to get to that point? Okay. Now, does that take commitment? Yes. But is it worth it? The answer is yes. Because again, you're trading and you're doing a strategy in something that will last, okay? That you could see over the course of your lifetime, longevity in something because of the consistency in the system. It's really about relying on yourself and no one else. And when you get to a point where you want to rely on yourself, it's a point of realization that your life is your own creation. And I'm telling you, I'm living proof of that. <laughs> you are the one in charge of your life. You and only you. And you're in charge of your own trades. Today I get up and you know what? I didn't take a trade today. I didn't trade. I took no trades today. I might have. Nothing rated per my system. I didn't like anything. I saw what the market was doing. I said, wait a minute. I did nothing. I'm in charge of my trading. And when you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and to learn something new and make more money, you will be amazed at how things come together and how much your life can change for the better. Sometimes it's just about opening up our own eyes and seeing the possibilities for our own life. Sometimes that means learning a new trading methodology or a new career path. And again, you may not be ready, okay, to actually change careers right now, but it might be a goal for you. Again, in a one year or five years that you want to quit your full-time job because you want to be a day trader. For me, it became trading the market that it was something that I wanted to do, okay? And then now trading gaps using my own checklist and rating method. So let's get into it. I use a rating method that is a 26 point rating method that I go through the checklist every morning. You can train my system using gaps to go long or short. You can do them for day trades or swing trades or core trades, okay? So it is a system that you can use for a lot of different things. My rating system for gaps, the reason that I created it was to help me and you, if you learn from me, to find a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, big moves of the day, early confirmation of my bias in the move, which is between 9.30 and 10 a.m., and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward. So this is the reason that I created the system, to find stocks for this. I wanted to find something that would have momentum, have a certain move, and I prefer shorts. Okay, rather than go long, I also wanted the early confirmation of the move, and I wanted to find precise entries too. The philosophy, though, behind my system was really to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. And all traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders, to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame using the one-minute chart. That's another thing that I do very well that I teach in the class. Again, it's the idea of accuracy and focus. So you're looking at the larger term daily chart of the stock to determine the 26 points, okay? But then on the live day, once the market opens at 9.30, I'm taking the trades on a one minute chart to get the accuracy in a very, very small time frame to get in and out quickly. So using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction. And using the one minute chart allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy, okay? 
which I'll show you here in a minute. But ultimately, trading is about generating income. If this is something that you want to generate income, you want to generate it today, but if you are in the process of being focused, you will get to where you want to be. It's not about getting rich quick. It is about chunking it out. It's about getting good over time, and it's about having a level of consistency when you trade. So you have to understand the potential in it, believe in the potential in it, in order to do it. And it's really in the market, okay? Because the reward for you is the financial freedom, whether your goal is to make, you know, six figures a year or a million dollars a year, whatever your goal is. Wherever you live, everybody's income level is different, but it is ultimately about having financial freedom because you won't be working for anyone else. There's, there's just an incredible amount of power that comes from understanding that you know how to do something that you don't need to ever work for someone else again. And I am at that point in my life. I've been at this point, but I think the realization of that has finally come to fruition with me with the amount of money that I've made this year trading personally. I've had the best year ever, and I think I've really just started to realize that I'm never, never going to have to work for anyone else ever again. And I think when you get to that point within yourself and your trading, your, your confidence just goes skyrocketing. And then you expand your horizons, you connect with more successful people, and guess what? You start to become more successful yourself and make more money yourself, even your trading and other things you're doing. So what I'm going to go over now is all the trades from last week okay I'm gonna go through all the trains and calls in the training room last week Monday I was off okay so I did not trade last Monday and actually I didn't trade today which was Monday too uh, Mondays I find are the lowest days of the week in the market I, I don't know why that is but it just does seem to be that way so I did not trade last Monday okay on Tuesday I did WMT so now let's go over the chart. And again, if anyone has any questions, just let me know in here. So Tuesday morning, I got up and I rated the gap in WMT to determine if it was a long or a short. Again, I prefer the shorts. So I was looking to short this stock. I rated the gap. The stock came in, dropped. I did short this. I actually got stopped out. So this green bar here in this trade stopped me out. I was down. Now that can happen, okay? Uh, that's why you use stops. I had a hard stop in. So I was actually took a loss in this trade, but I still like the gap. Actually, this stock, I didn't put the daily chart up in here in this class, but if you look at it now, it's, it's really had a beautiful move after this first day. For whatever reason, it struggled on the first day of the gap to go full on, even though it did work as a short. I waited, I waited, I waited, okay? I reshorted this. I kept the conviction in what? In the gap. And the rating system reshorted it. And it went on then to be a profitable trade. And then you could have made money back from the first loss and money on the day. Now, does every trade I take work immediately? No. A lot of them do, okay, because of the accuracy of my system. But I put this example in here because it was a live example from last week to show you that I did take a stop in this. But then the second trade worked, okay? Now let's look at it. First trade stop, boom. Now, the second entry was 70.25, stop over 70.55. Again, I use hard stops. No matter what size I take, unless I start taking 50,000 share lots, I, I won't be using stops probably then, but um, I'm taking stops now in my trades. So risk was 25 cents on 4,000 shares, it was 1,000 bucks. Here's the exit into the drop. This actually went, like I said, more in the day, but this was an uh, early morning exit. Total profit, 2400 The risk to reward is 2.4. So this is a good trade. So if you had risked $1,000 in the first trade, took the second trade, made 2400 you still would have been up $1,400 on the day. And this is with the first trade having stopped. Okay. Now, if the first trade would have worked, you just would have made 2400 But I'm pointing out, one, this is a real live example from last week. Okay. Does anyone have any questions about this? And again, going back to the understanding of the comprehension of learning for the consistency, if you didn't know that this was a golden gap that rated per the 26-point system, you might have gone long a stock after it stopped you out here, but the stock was not a long. It really was a short. And it ended up going red on the day and then broke the low of the day, and then you would have lost money twice if you got stopped as a short and bought it and got stopped as a long because the stock was a short. 
and I stayed with the trade, stayed with the gap rating, stayed with the conviction. Unfortunately, a lot of people do that. They'll short something if they lose, they turn around and buy it, and they flip-flop all over the place. So this is skill-based here to take the trade, stick with it, wait, know that it's good, and then retake it and end up being profitable. Okay. And again, whatever your risk is, small, medium, or large, this is a, an advanced risk. It's the idea that your risk is the same or close to the same in every trade that you take, so you have similar results. Okay. Now let's go to this, CISQ. CISQ was really the best gap last week for me. The stock gapped down. I got up in the morning and I rated the gap. This rated per my 26-point rating system. Okay. Price of this is very, very good. Most of the stocks I trade are in the price range between $5 and I'd say $60, $65. Now, WNT was a little bit more expensive. It's rare that I would take something over $100, not that I'm opposed to it. But you can really bulk up on size, even if you have a small account with some of these stocks, because the price points are decent. Like, this is not very expensive. Okay, a lot of people ask me, do you need a lot of money to trade? Do I have to have a big account? How much money do I need in the account? You don't have to have a big account to day trade. Okay, because the cost of the stock prices when you add leverage to it, it is not insanely high for many of the ones that I do. And again, I like to short. So I'm looking at CSIQ as a short. It rated as a good short. And here's the trade and here's the drop. So you could have taken this and got all out. You could have taken this to stay down in here and got all out. It was a trade that went and set up again and went by 10 o'clock. One of the other benefits of my system is that if the stock sets up, it's going to go and work very quickly. And if it stops you out, it's going to stop you out very quickly. Okay? So you're not wasting all of your day waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the thing to go. Okay? Again, very precise reasons that I'm looking for the trades or taking the trades or even wanting to do these. And I have certain specific time frames that I'm looking to take them in, having to see an entry or a setup. One of the most important things you need is number one, a strategy, number two, the entry, and number three, you have to have the right exit for your trade. Because you, you don't know where you're getting out of this, you know, or even like the WMT, you have to have a target, you may miss your exit. So it's very, very important to be monitoring that and I figure all of that out before I trade in the morning. Like I have a sheet and I figure out on my sheet in the morning, I rate the gap, have my top pick, which on Wednesday would have been this CSIQ, and then I also write the targets and the support and resistance on my sheet, even before the open. Again, that's part of the one hour prep work that I do in the morning before the market. Okay, does anyone have any questions about anything so far? So here is the money that I made in this, and I'll show you where I got out of it. I actually could have held this longer, but I saw it was up when I saw my P&L and it came into the first number and it was up over two grand. By the time I pressed out of it, it was a little bit under two grand, but I literally made this money in five minutes and it was just so much money to make so quickly I took it. So let's go over it. If you had stayed in this, you would have made more, okay? But I'm showing you what, I'll go back and show you what I did. I'll go back and show you if you held it to the second target. Price of the entry was 2110, stop was over 2165. The risk was good, okay? I had 3,000 shares of this. I actually risked 1650. If you exited down into 1960 and took the size I did, you could have made over four grand, okay? Very nice trade. Instead, I got out in the first drop, which I'm gonna go back and show you, and made like the 2,000. So when you are trading, you can do one of two things. And again, this is your own personal preference. This isn't something that I say you have to do, whatever. If you take the trade, which is where I took it in here, I got all out of the first drop. If you take the trade with me in here and you're up the money I am in the first drop, what you could have done is you could have put the stop at break even or you could have waited until it did this little pivoty thing and then lowered the stop over the pivot or you just take it. It may or may not have gone to this next target. Again, this is the market. As you know, it's unpredictable exactly where it's going to halt. This did go to the first target though, which is why I took the whole thing. But as it turns out, this was such a nice gap, it went to the next target. But you never know exactly. So you have, would have to monitor yourself in here to protect the profits or make sure that you don't take a loss if you take it. But it would be, make no sense to be up all this money and then not take something out. 
So you could have taken it, got out of half, let the rest drop, got out of half. You could have done what I did, take it, be up all this money in five minutes, take it out. You could have taken the trade down here, held it all the way down. But if you do that, you really still have to lower your position stop so that you don't give this amount of money back. But as it turns out, this one went further. And you could have doubled your money in it. And that's the point I'm trying to show you here, even the potential in these sometimes they turn out better than expected. But you, you never know. But the consistency of being able to take the trade and get out quickly, take it and get out quickly, is just something that I excel at and I like to do. And I'm perfectly happy making $2,000 in five minutes. <laughs> but actually, the funny thing is, if you had held this, like, literally for, like, 10 more minutes, you know, I would have made, like, double. But it was a beautiful call. Any questions on anyone about anything with CSIQ? Anything? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So, a lot of people talk to me about this as I was saying about the cost of stocks and how much money you need to trade. You could wait until you have more money to have more buying power to learn my system or any equity system. But you really don't need to wait till you have tons of money to do it. If you would start trading now with a small account and even make $50 a day or $100 a day, that's still real money you'd be making and learning and have extra money and learning how to do it. Many, many people say, well, I'll wait. I'll wait to have this much money or this much money or this much money or this much money. And then weeks and months go by. And all that time you could have been making some amount of money with whatever money you can afford at the time, which would be now, and learning how to do it and getting better over time. And so the thing is that, you know, I find a lot of people gravitate. I was talking to Raphael about this the other week. They gravitate towards sometimes other systems, futures, whatever, things that they feel are cheaper to do. It really isn't about cheap. It is about the idea that you take the amount of money that you have, you risk and invest what you can afford, you learn why you're doing it, you chunk it out so that you can get to the point where if your goal is to make a million dollars in the market, if your goal is to make a half a million dollars in this many years, if your goal is to make five, uh, in five years make a million dollars, if your goal is to do that, then you have to have a plan of action to get there. And sometimes waiting till you have all of this money saved to do it isn't the best idea because of the fact that you won't be learning. And there's something to be said for the learning process while you're making whatever money that you can afford. Okay. So how will you make the million? By doing it. This is the point I'm trying to say. You get better over time. Again, I'm proof of that. You risk more over time as you get better. It is all about chunking it out. Now, let's go to Thursday. Thursday, this, this, this chart again, JMEI, had nice follow through since the gap. But the original gap was on Thursday. I shorted this gap. Stock dropped. Gap down. Fell. Beautiful move in here. High in here was around 1480. Low in here is around 12 something. In fact, I think it I, did, I think it broke $12. Anyways, this was a really nice move. Okay. So then I'm looking to get in this doing what? A short. Okay. I have to wait for the setup. The price of the entry set it was 1310. So that was over 1345. If you risk again a similar risk of thousand dollars on three thousand shares, exit at 1260, it never went down to the low of the day. Profit was $1,500, okay? Risk to reward is 1.2. So, again, it's $1,000 or more. It totals up. You see how you're getting to the idea of making a certain amount of money every week. Some tra trades you make two. Some trades you make 1000 Some trades you make 1500 You're chunking it out. It tallies up. It adds up. Now, let's go back. You actually could have taken more of this, but I really thought that this would retest the low of the day, but it never did. And as it took its time and took its time and took its time and took its time and took its time it didn't now let me answer some questions here but again the consistency monday didn't trade tuesday wmt wednesday csiq thursday jmei see how every day every day every day i'm doing it uh all right let me answer the questions here with ameritrade you were told if you have less than 25k, you can't buy and sell on the same day. If you have an account at a retail brokerage account, then you have to have 25,000 to actively day trade, or you can only take, I think, three trades in every five days. I'm not certain of that, but I think that's the rules. You have to ask them. Your other option is to open up a proprietary day trading account, in which case you don't need 25,000. 
that is a specific place that you're trading, Kevin. Ameritrade has those requirements, okay? If you want referrals for any brokers at all, retail or prop, you can email me. SVH is asking me if I have all of my performance on my website. The answer is no. Will I ever have it on my website? The answer is no. I don't have time for that. You can come and take a trial in my live trading room if you want, but quite frankly, SVH, I'm gonna be on national television five days a week making live calls. So you can watch television and you can see then every day that I'm profitable. Now, the price of the class, however, will not be $3,500 when I'm on national television. So whatever you wanna do, it's gonna be more. That's all that I can say. <laughs> Everyone on the planet can watch my television show every night and verify that I'm profitable and they will pay more for the class. So would you consider it desirable to work for yourself and make a million dollars? Yes, yes, you would. Yes, you would, okay? And it's terrific and fabulous and great when you can train and train to be done in 30 minutes a day, okay? And most of these things I'm doing for only an hour. Galahad's laughing. Galahad's laughing. Galahad has been training with me now for more than two years, and he's laughing because I said the television comment, although it is true. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I mean, some people have been following me since I started, I, you know, I don't know what to say. I guess I kind of just preempted that in the one slide earlier. You can wait. You can wait to take my class until you have 25,000. You can wait to take my class until I have a million dollars. You can wait to take my class until the end of time, the price of the class is going up. Once I'm on national television, why? Because I'm evolving, I am changing, my trading is getting better. Not only do I wanna make millions of dollars, I wanna make billions of dollars, so I'm gonna do it all have my business, trade live, be on national television, there's nothing stopping me. So I said this in the room last week for everyone that was there when they were taping me, I said in the room last week, I said, you know what? I want everyone here that has believed in me when no one knew who I was to get rich and make millions of dollars with me. And everyone was excited because you know what? They all believed it. Because you know what? Everyone that listens to everything I say and is taking all the calls that I'm making this year in 2015 is up money. And that is why 99% of the people in my live trading are signed up for the year. I think I have five people that are paying month to month in my room. Everyone has signed up and committed to trading, done the class, and paid for the room for the year. Okay? And that people would not be doing that or paying this money to me if they weren't making money. So fact, okay, you can do a trial for a week, you can wait till I'm on national television, there will be no hiding anything then, then it'll be all out in the open. Who would do that but a risky girl like me? Guess what, you know? But the class will not be $3,500. It could be 35,000. It's gonna be whatever I decide I wanna charge. How about that? All right, let's go back to this. <laughs> TFM, this was the gap from Friday, okay? Stock rallied up, came in, dropped, broke. Rallied up again. Beautiful short. This thing went to 19 something, fell off a planet, went to the dream target. Never, 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 never even wrote the number down that this ended up going to. But the morning move in this was down in here. Did go to the number, did go to 21, did go to the first target. I never thought this would go to 19 something. The market did collapse on Friday, which helped to pull this down. I think the low of the day, and this was 19, 1960 something, 1920 something. I don't know, it was crazy. But I like to trade again in the morning and be out very, very quickly. You could have shorted this at 22.38. Stat was over 22.60. Risk in this is 22 cents. If you took a $1,100 risk, around 1,000 bucks or thereabout, exit right down into the first target at 21 bucks, total profit $6,400. Huge. You would have had to take the size and put the stop at the right place to do it. This is not, again, an expensive stop, okay? Did you have to risk $1,000? No. You could have risked 100, 200, whatever you can afford, 50 bucks. It's the idea, though, that the stock dropped more than a dollar. So if you had 500 shares, you would have made $500. If you had 200 shares, you would have made $200. It's the idea that the stock dropped. You waited for the setup. You took the trade, and it dropped like a brick. And you did it, and that's it. So it's just the idea that you are have no hesitation, 100% conviction that TFM is the one. And there were a lot of gaps on Friday. And once again, I picked the best thing. I, I said this is the best thing. And the market was gapping down on Friday. And I even saw that. And I'm like, there's nothing else that we're even going to do. Something else I'm even going to look at. I don't even know. I think I did rate like three things on Friday. And I'm like, eh, this is it. This is the one. And this was the one. And it went even to some crazy number then if you even held it down, which 
which, you know, sometimes can happen, okay? But this was the morning trade in this, okay? I will reveal all of that in good time, Kevin. Kevin's asked me what channel I'll be on. Well, for those of you that live internationally, I know a bunch of you have asked me that. Once I'm allowed to share all of that with you, I will. <laughs> Galahad. So there has to be more to your life than work. It has to be more than work. It has to be fun. And you know what? Being on TV is going to be fun, 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 fun. It's work, but it's going to be fun, and it's going to make trading even more fun and even more fun for the people that are trading with me. And one of the best things I like about daily trading gaps is they happen so fast. They happen so fast. You don't have to work all day. It allows me time to do something like that I'm else other doing with my life. I mean, if I had to trade and work all day till 4 o'clock and trade, I couldn't do these other things I'm going to be doing. So it is fun, fun, fun. And on a Friday, you're done. You're trading. You're early. You got, you're, it's basically like a three-day weekend every week. I mean, you basically have a three-day weekend every week. Unless I'm doing a class on the weekend, like I have a class this weekend. But every week that I don't have, like a normal week, I have basically have a three-day weekend, okay? I have a tease. You're funny. So Melissa's Golden Gap strategy has a great risk-to-reward payout. This creates the high-income potential. What is a good risk-to-reward payout? Three to one or more, okay? Some days you get one, some days you get two, some days you get three. Dream targets can happen. CSIQ went to a dream target. TFM went to a dream target, okay? One to one every day, though, really isn't enough. You never know. You never know when you get up in the morning and roll out of bed where it's going to go. You have the targets. You get out a portion of the whole thing at the first target, but you never really know how many risk units it's going to be because you don't know the entry and a stop until it actually sets up. And that's what determines the risk to reward, okay? And when I say 10 by 50 or 10 by 20 or 10 by 35, that's how you're sizing yourself and that's how you're getting the risk to reward. And this is the benefit of being in the room with me, okay? Now, what creates a good risk to reward? set up the precise entry combined with the gap momentum and the top pick which i get like every day i get it okay so melissa's golden gap strategy consistently directs you to the power source and a stock to determine the correct directional bias it's like whoosh, it just lights the way to see where to go and how to get it and it pinpoints the opportunity for you to enter before the big move happens because it really doesn't do you any good if the stock drops off a cliff and you don't get it Okay, it's too late, all right? Like the gap came into the market this morning, really all of it happened in the pre-market. You couldn't have shorted the market on the live day and made any money. You would have had to short the pre-market and that would have been a crazy thing to do and you wouldn't have had no stops. You would have had unlimited risk. It's, you have to take the trade in the live day to define your risk, which is calculated risk and you're doing it in the live day and you put in the stop, okay? Now, if you wanna make, let's just say I'm backing it off. You, you say, I want to make a million dollars in five years. How do I get to that point? Well, first you say, I want to make $150 a day. Then you say, I want to make $300 a day. Then you say, I want to make $500 a day. And as I said to you earlier, if you, if you, from right now, this isn't even January 1, today, August 24th, from August 24th until December 31st, not including holidays, if you made $750 a day, took my class this week and traded with me in the live room and made $750 a day, and that is not with a $1,000 risk unit. That is much, much less you would make over $70,000 between now and the end of the year. And it's, that is September, October, November, December. So that means you would make, I don't even figure it out per month. It's, you know, whatever it is per month. Not quite 20 grand a month, a little bit less than that, making 750 a day. And that is not with a high risk. So again, if you could make $750 a day trading my system, which would total over $70,000 between now and the end of the year, how much do you think you could make next year in 2016? How much do you think you could make in 2017? And do you see how you tally it up and you chunk it out and you're making more and, it, and it, you keep doing it and you get comfortable with it and then you increase your risk and then you keep doing it and you get comfortable with it, okay? And everybody has a different different comfort level, okay? Once you become skilled at trading gaps and rating gaps, you can make 100 grand a year, 250 grand a year, and even a million dollars a year. And you've got to get to the point where you're really good at what you're doing. You have confidence in yourself. You have the ability in your account to take the size when you want to take it. And if you can make a million dollars a year in the market, even if it takes you four years or five years, what do you think you could do with 10? I mean, this is the point I'm trying to make. 
right now you got to start with where you're at where are you at right now are you losing money or making money okay evaluate that the second are you not even trading at all and you want to do it now you have to say okay what step the next step step one step one is I'm gonna do this you can't like just jump like into the off a cliff you have to decide I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna be this and a year from now I'm gonna be here by the end of the year I'm gonna be here and five years from now I'm gonna be here I mean trust me no one's more impatient than me I'm the most impatient person in the world as I explained earlier that's why at the beginning when I started trading I lost a lot of money very quickly and then I pulled myself back and said wait a minute this thing is gonna take longer than I thought to learn how to do it is is it the end of the world no but you know what I can still make money along the way keep myself intact financially, not fall off a cliff, not be backed up against the wall, and then you do it. And I think many, many people lose confidence, lose conviction, stop believing they can do it. I want you to believe. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to believe in the market. I want you to believe in golden gaps. I'm teaching people that I trade with are doing it. You know what? Since they're making money, they do believe. It's not that hard to convince people when they do it and they believe because they're doing it and the money is there and they're seeing it. So once you know how to make money in the market, you can set your own course for freedom wherever you want to go. You have to have the correct job security. I don't know what you do. I don't know what your goals are. I know when I was doing mortgages, I realized that I had zero job security in industry that was collapsing. And then, and I was too young, way too young, to have to think about the fact that I may not have security if I stay in this environment. Now, you know, I could have kept doing mortgages forever. I could be still doing them now, but there's just no point. The money was not there anymore, okay? and I was too stressed out. And the idea of working and doing my job, I mean, I think that's why some days like the, whatchamacallit, the CSIQ, like literally in an ideal world, if I can make $2,000 every day in five minutes, I would do it. Like the, even, literally I would do it. I would just do it, I would just do it, I would just roll out of bed and just do it day after day after day after day after day. After day. I mean, to, to, I'm only under like that risk for five minutes. I mean, to me that, the fact that I'm only in that trade for that short, short time just is amazing to me. To be able to make that kind of money and so quickly is just amazing to me. And, and, it's, and I could never do it if I went into the market. There's nothing that I could possibly ever do as a career my whole life other than that. And maybe being on television actually. But other than that, other than that, okay? The reality is though that having that kind of profit Sitting at home, making that kind of money that quickly is phenomenal, and you can learn how to do it. You can learn how to do it if you trade with me because I teach people how to do it. And I had a guy that actually risked, I forget what trade it was, I don't even remember if it was TFM. He risked more than me in one of the ones this week. And I was like, I was like, wow, that was swinging a big bat because he just did the class. He just did the class. He just did the class. And he swung the bat. And he did it, and he took the same trade as me. He just took more risk. And I was like, whoa, are you sure you're ready for that? And he did it. So, I mean, but he has a lot of confidence and conviction in me, and he did do the class. So whatever the size of the bat that you want to swing, go for it. If you take my class and learn how to do it, and you're taking my calls. Everyone has a different uh, element of what they're comfortable with with their risk and what they can afford. But it is about self-reliance and personal freedom, and it's something that's become more important to me as the years have gone on. So I teach a class, it is called the Golden Gap Course, and my system really teaches you how to make money on a consistent basis. The more confidence you will build in yourself, the better that you can trade, okay? One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap Course is to have conviction in the Golden Gap Strategy. This conviction will help you produce positive results. That's how you reach the income level that you want to get to. That's how you attain, uh, you know, reach your goals for six months out from the end of the year, for one year, whether you wanna make a million dollars, whatever it is. It could be over the course of your life. It could be in one year's time frame. You will never make any money in the market that is even substantial at all if you don't learn a system that works consistently over time that you can get good at. And what happens is it's one spectrum and the other, which I'm sure many of you have heard and, and, and I know to be true. It is really just the one spectrum or the other with the market. You are either losing or you are making really good money. I mean, it's just really like that. So the Golden Gap is a method designed by me, Melissa, and I'm a trader myself. And I plop this in the room. This, this was an email from a man that I know and have known for a very, very long time who sometimes occasionally helps me out in the room uh, if I'm sick or whatever, take a day off, his name is Tom. He wrote me an email last week and it was so lovely. I plopped it in the webinar here because it's almost like a testimonial. He said, okay, Melissa Armo, you're going to get me way behind in the night, 
First, you are a very unusual person. I wrote at length to my friend that no one is doing what you are doing. This was so sweet. No one. Risk a grand in a single play and be, be live doing it. I sometimes can be critical of you. Like sometimes I think you picked the wrong gap, Yelp instead of Twitter, and Yelp was a good gap. Senex instead of Zebra, that leaves me nothing but an armchair quarterback. You are doing it. Any idiot can say this or that until they experience what you do. It's just talk, and that includes me. This was so sweet that he did not write this for the purpose of a testimonial, but it really was a testimonial. <laughs> and so I put it in the room. This is from Tom, and he helps me out in the room occasionally, and he does trade gaps. Um, and I've known him for a very long time. He's traded in the market for longer than I'm alive. Uh, but it was so complimentary to have someone that has been trading, like I said, for you know longer than I'm alive to say these wonderful things about me. So I've taught people that have never traded before. I've taught people that have been in the market longer than I'm alive. I have a very special thing that I do and a very special skill. So if you come and take my class, it is 100% worth it. You will learn how to trade, and if you sign up for the room, you can just take my calls. You cannot be in the room without actually doing my class. Again, it goes back to the level of commitment. And the fact is that I'm taking trades within the first couple minutes of the trading day or possibly the first five to 10. And so that is aggressive. And you really need to know how to do it and where to put the stop in. And I want people to do well. So I've been able to actually mold people into becoming good traders. Um, and I force the commitment on people by making them commit to taking the class and paying for the class instead of just being in the live room. The class is called the Golden Gap System. It is a course that teaches you a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system to trade. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. So this is the checklist that I use, and I'm teaching people technical analysis. It's a complete system to use to trade. The class is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. The class is August 29th and 30th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The class cost is $34.99. I had a gentleman call me today. He did the class two years ago and asked me if he could redo it for free. And I said, the answer is yes. So he wants to get back into it. He just got out of it and now wants to get back into it. So know if you sign up now, before the class price goes up, you can retake it if you want to later, even if you don't have time to do it this weekend in August. I am doing a summer special. I'm offering the entries class free. Oh, I spelled class wrong here. I was rushing. I'm offering the entries class free for anyone that signs up between now and Friday, August 28th, for the Golden Gap class. You would pay $34.99, but you would save the class price cost of the entries class. This teaches you advanced entries and how to do ads and reductions in trades in order to maximize moves. Okay, And this class will be before the end of the calendar year. I'm also offering another option for people to try to help people out to get started. You can sign up for the Golden Gap course and pay half the price of the course to tuition now. You will not do the whole class though now. You will do day two of the class. And then you will receive one month free in the room. Be in the room, you can trade, take my calls for a month. Then in 30 days you would pay the remainder of the class and do the remaining portion of the class. So. You would pay $17.49.50 for day two, do it this weekend, be in the room for free for a month, and pay $17.49.50 and do day one in 30 days. You get one month free in the room. Total price is the same, okay? Deadline for this is Friday. So I'm giving people two options. If you pay for and sign up and take the entire class, you will get the entries class for free, and you will do the entire class for free, which is Saturday and Sunday. Day one and day two are both very important pieces of learning how to trade well, okay? But I'm doing this to help people, which is pay half now and half later. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you want more information. And also I teach a class called the Trends Course. It's about longer term trends. This is September 22nd and 23rd from 12 to 4. Cost of this class is $9.99. This is not a day trading class. This is a class to help your day trading become better or to learn how to look at long term trends to do options, okay, or to do day or swing trading uh, for longer term core trades. You can sign up for this too. This is at the end of September. And I'm offering a special if you do both the Golden Gap and the Trends of Pay all together at once. It's $39.99 for the combo class. Okay? So email me if you're interested in this. You've got to learn how to trade, okay, to change your life like I did. It is possible. You must believe. Does anyone have any questions? We're almost at the end of time here, it looks like. If you do have questions, you can email me at melissa at the stock 
You can go follow me on YouTube. I have many, many videos I'm putting and doing on there. If you're interested in the announcements about the things I talked about earlier, that will all be on my social media. You gotta follow me on all social media sites to get that information. And again, if you would like to do the class sooner rather than later for the price of $34.99, and I'm offering some deals here to try to help people get started and get going, okay, rather than lose the opportunity. All right, great. Thanks so much, everyone. Email me if you have any questions. Have a great night. You're welcome. Thanks, Galahad.